Caitlin. I'm the nature interpreter at the Gorge Waterway Nature House, and this is the final video in our Sequaria video series. So for today, I'm going to be telling you about two of the different fish species that we have in the Sequaria. The first is the tide pool sculpin, and the second is the bay pipe fish. So the first fish species that we have in the Sequaria is the tide pool sculpin, and it's also one of the few fish species that can live in the intertidal zone. So the intertidal zone is a really challenging environment for a lot of species because it is constantly changing. The water level, the salinity and temperature, and the oxygen concentration of the water all vary over the tidal cycle. So tide pool sculpin have a really cool adaptation that they use to deal with this. They are amphibious fish, which means that they can survive and breathe out of the water for a short period of time. So this allows tide pool sculpin to leave a tide pool where the conditions are challenging for them and move over the land to reach another tide pool that's safer. Tide pool sculpin are very good at blending into their environment. The splotchy patterns on their skin break up their outline, which makes it hard to distinguish them from their surroundings. They usually stay very still and hide under rocks or seaweed so that they are difficult to see. However, if they are startled, they can move very quickly to get to a new hiding spot. Bay pipefish also have very impressive camouflage. These fish live in nearshore eelgrass meadows in the Pacific Northwest. Not only do pipefish have the color and shape of a blade of eelgrass, but they also tend to swim in an upright position, mimicking the positioning and movement of eelgrass as well. This helps them to hide from their predators, which include large fish, gulls, and wading birds. Pipefish are actually in the same order as seahorses, and like seahorses, it is the male pipefish who's responsible for taking care of the eggs. So the female pipefish will lay the eggs and then transfers them to the male's brood pouch. The brood pouch becomes completely sealed over and inside the brood pouch, the eggs can receive water, nutrients, and oxygen from the father. The eggs hatch inside the brood pouch and in about two weeks, the young pipefish can burst out of the brood pouch and swim away. I hope you enjoyed learning about all of the animals in the Sequaria. This is the last Sequaria video, but all of the animals in these videos are native to the Salish Sea, so you can find them on the beaches or in the ocean around Vancouver Island. So take a look around the beach and see what you can find.